Hello friends. Today I'm going to read to you the second installment in our Mother Bruce series. So Ryan T. Higgins is still the author of this story and it still has the same characters as Mother Bruce as well as introduces some new characters to us as well. And the title of this story is Hotel Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. So let's go ahead and get started. Hotel Bruce. Bruce was a bear who lived with four geese. Reluctantly. That word reluctantly means he didn't have a choice. Reluctantly. But he was their mom, which meant every winter he migrated south with them. He would have preferred to hibernate. Here he is on the beach, saying honk, 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 honk. Migration and motherhood is hard work for a bear. It made Bruce tired and grumpy. That's why when Bruce came home one spring to find that mice had moved in and turned his house into a busy woodland hotel, he was not happy. And here you see the mouse saying, welcome to the Northwoods Hotel, your home away from home. I don't think I'd be happy either if someone turned my house into a hotel when I was gone. Bruce was in no mood for rodents. He turned them out of the house and headed to bed. That's when the trouble started. It was a long night. Can I have a glass of water? You're hogging the sheets. I want to snuggle. I need to pee. The next morning, Bruce woke to the sounds of birds chirping and squirrels chattering and possums having a pillow fight. It only got worse. It's a bath. These veggies and spices are good for your shells. So that fox is trying to tell the turtles that this pot is a bath. But what do you think he's really trying to do? You're right, cook them. We hope you enjoyed your stay. Thank you for choosing the Northwoods Hotel. Our bellhops will see to your luggage. So bellhops are people that work at a hotel that help take your luggage to your room. So the geese are dressed up as bellhops. How do you think Bruce is feeling with all of this going on in his house? Why don't you go ahead, take a second and answer. And when you're ready, you can move on. Bruce growled. Bruce grumbled. Bruce asked to speak with the manager. The mice went into another room for a moment, and he says, I'm not tipping you. Two mice came back, wearing ties. I'm the manager, I have a tie. No, I'm the manager, my tie has stripes. They took my ties. Run for your lives, the turtle soup has gone bad. They were interrupted by a commotion in the kitchen. It was a disaster. And the turtles had taken his best silverware. Bruce started to lose his cool. Arr! 
I'm sorry, I can't understand your accent. Maybe we should hire a translator. The geese stepped in to smooth things over. Honk, honk, honk. Oh, he's with you. And the mice understood. Sort of. So what did they do to Bruce? Yeah, they made him a bellhop as well. Just when it couldn't get any worse... It did. This was the last straw. Well, really, it was the last elephant. Finally, Bruce lost his temper. This is not a hotel. This is my house. Everybody out right now. Out. Sheesh, I thought they'd never leave. Bruce's house was a quiet, peaceful place once again, and there were no more visitors. Honk, honk, honk. At least for a little while. So who came back? The mice. And that is the end of Hotel Bruce. I hope you friends enjoyed this story and I'll see you next time. Take care friends.